What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Brooklyn Frost upset. Jay Cinco spreading false stories. Jay Cinco responds and voice says she responds. My good sis. Um, let's get into it. Frost did release a statement regarding her situation with Justin. She also posts some old text messages between her and Justin. Justin also responded to her statement. So if you want to skip ahead, the timestamps are down below. These past few days, chaos has surrounded me and my family on the internet and it's out of control. I'm being dragged and accused of cheating, sleeping with three people at once and lying about abuse. Now she does sleeping with three people as, at once is crazy. And for those that uh, got shit absolutely misconstrued, I never said he started this entire thing. I said he started by he started the whole beef with Dylan and Delane by bringing their name up. Me and Cuz made a video about it, but it's pointless. Y'all got to keep up with the storyline because at this point, I'm caught up. <laughs> I'm caught up. Okay, Y'all going to have to catch up. Let's talk about her mom because Justin did mention that he paid the mom $5,000 each month because they had a one year contract. Y'all are slamming my mom because someone accused her of stealing, but y'all don't even know half of the opportunity she has helped this person with to have earned what he agreed to pay her. And to think that she would allow him to pay her to date me is crazy. He I agree with that as well. Um, Like I get it. It was 20%, which I feel like is a bit much. However, they were already established. It wasn't free. I do get that paid part. her because he was getting opportunities from being around us and she put paperwork in place to protect the relationship and not to date me. We were all. Cool. I don't think she just had to do that. I hope I doubt DDG's doing that to TT's boyfriend. And I know damn well DDG mama ain't, you know what I'm saying? But everybody's situation is different. So cool. we were all getting money when me and him fell out personally in our relationship, we got toxic and the whole thing crashed. It all got ugly. And here we are going at it on the internet, tearing each other apart. It's ugly. The energy of all of this has been malicious and I can't continue to let someone keep spreading these rumors knowing they are not true. I was not perfect in the relationship. Neither of us was perfect and it grew toxic on both sides. Now, Justin did say in his previous live that he found out not only allegedly Brooklyn was sleeping with him, but also her ex Delane and Dylan. But Brooklyn also goes on to clear that up she says what I won't do is let him put three bodies on me because me sleeping with all these guys on him just didn't happen I won't explain my bedroom because no one has to do with that so y'all aren't going to run me like that but I'm nobody's pass around and my lesson here is knowing my value and to not be with someone who would speak on me like that in the first place my main mistake was taking that abuse photo to the internet because it put my business in the street in a and her sleeping with the the, the three guys I'm not gonna cap uh Dylan Dylan and Devo kind of made it very clear that she did do that. But I don't know if if she did it while she was with Justin. I don't I, I just feel like she didn't sleep with nobody while she was with Justin. I could be absolutely wrong. Um, but I just don't I don't think she did way that I'm not able to handle. I'm young and still learning. Never would I lie about abuse in any situation. I should have never brought that Pacific situation to the internet being Come that on, it's Pacific. so sensitive and personal. I just got caught up in my own chaos and didn't know what else to do except to put him on blast. And maybe that had to have happened to make me see things for what they are because I put myself on blast too. It hurts to see y'all attack me and my family on the internet. The things sliding online about us aren't true and being blown out of context so people can have viral moments. But this is real life, my life. I share my life with y'all all the time but i'm learning that some things need to be kept private man i'm learning most of the things we do on youtube is to entertain y'all not everything you see and hear is true i appreciate y'all who back me up when it's the truth and those who hold me accountable when i, I ain't gonna lie i don't feel like she wrote this at all <laughs> this is giving mama wrote this but okay i need to check myself that don't mean her story ain't valid i just don't feel like she wrote it Everyone who is dragging me i don't know i can't make everyone happy and that's what i'm learning as i share so much of my life online grow up with me this shit ain't uh, easy <laughs> brooklyn also it. showed a message that she sent justin okay honestly being transparent i understand you're not ready for a relationship but the things we are doing and us having sex it just makes me fall deeper and i get with i get it we can be friends but we don't act like friends you kiss me you say you miss me and it's giving me mixed signals <laughs> mixed singles yeah she definitely didn't write that shit like for all I know, you can still be talking to people I don't know. I just feel like either it's like we work to get back or we just keep our distance because I'm hurting myself in the process.
This shows I was single and we tried to work it out in January. Then in January, show I don't need to prove that I was single because the whole damn world knew I was single last showing year. Knowing that she wasn't actually. Oh, shit. All this other shit. <laughs> we not going. How come it's Justin playing basketball? No, he at the boxing gym. Text Cody when he was having sex with other girls. I realize my issue isn't with you. Justin was your friend first and you owe me no loyalty. You can't sit there and physically make him do the things we do. The things we do? Yeah, she didn't write that shit. I was blaming you, but all the all the blame isn't on you. You might influence him, yes, but you can't make him do anything. So just text you to let you know I don't care anymore. That's the that's the person he's gonna be. That's him, but I have no ill blood towards you or him. And you know what? I forgot <laughs> when she was talking that day. Yeah, she didn't <laughs> she didn't she didn't write that shit. You said if she was being hit on, why she ain't leave? But if you saying she been crazy, she been a crazy person all these years and hits you, why your grown ass didn't leave? Love blinds you the same way people that get abused stay. Stay, y'all delusional is cool though. Live y'all truth. I'ma live mine or love mine, whatever. Laugh my ass up. But when you said you hit her. You going to say why why you ain't leave then so the whole love is blind shit only go for you this makes sense <sighs> with him but she was working to get back with him i'm gonna post up all the messages here y'all stop pulling a mess. but here's what justin had to say i'm good bro. i don't got time for that shit. i don't got time for that that, that wasn't wrote by the by the person that <laughs> ah that's hilarious I agree, man. If you ain't, if you, if, ain't no way you know how to spell all that shit. No. i know that wasn't true so then for that i'm not reading that because it's not true it's not true mm -hmm. you get your thumbnail titles wrong i know goddamn well you ain't that <laughs> i know mother <laughs> well so i don't even want to hear what the team gotta say the frost assistant a assistant team i'm cool and their faculty i'm okay I'm yo good. that is hilarious the process definitely was right team, i'm cool bro. I'm not trying to argue with the principal. I ain't gonna lie. It was so put together and sounds so motherly like. And I knew she ain't right there. You got it. You got it. Nigga used chat GBT. Nah, for real. <laughs> told them. <laughs> told them. Told them. <laughs> Let me chill. Bro. That's funny as hell. But I'm cool. That boy, how is that? We supposed to be overpassed that. Mm -hmm. you did, it's not like you got canceled for for blaming me for not she like misspelled got mutual in the story the post before i know she definitely did not write that but you got off the hook you feel me when she was talking <laughs> when she was talking on that live she wasn't the shit just wasn't mm -mm. shit wasn't going together that baby was supposed to go to school and her mama had her doing fucking youtube either you way i mean alone. shit to be honest with you she rich still so it really don't fucking matter but Left alone, just going about your day, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Nobody wants to do that. They called the Avengers, called everybody in this line from outer space. I ain't never met just, I ain't never met just telling the truth about me because I never met. Never them. did you reheat that burger up? That shit crazy, bro. Like, you know, like, just leave me alone, bro. Like, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm driving this shit. This shit over with, bro. Like, this shit over with, bro. <laughs> over just style like just don't post about it Stupid man, man. i seen that video of her cutting his hair i would have been sick you said leave you alone i'm leaving you alone i see why he was sick it's you gonna grow back you still talking about it i literally am talking about how to leave it alone i did not respond to nothing in them in that paragraph so how am i talking about it? he need to get some braids he look real good with some braids but what the fuck? I didn't happen here talking about that shit. Fuck you talking about? Corey recently was released from jail after spending the night in lockup. According to him, he said that him and Carmen got pulled over. Now he was driving the car. Carmen was the passenger. They was just driving around. They got pulled over. According to the police, he did an improper turn. While the police was talking to him and about to give him a ticket, he saw that there was substance in the car. So he told Corey to get out of the car. When he checked Corey, Corey had a weapon on him. So not only did he go to jail for substance, but he went to jail for a weapon. When they pulled me over, they were like three of them. I, was, I looked out the window. I said, God damn, you have to take me to jail? <laughs> Are you just... I'm talking about, I ain't do nothing. I was in a red light. I swear for God, I was in a red light, y'all. And then I turned left. 
which was the only lane to go. And it was like, I left the club. Well, we didn't even go to the club. It was like daytime yesterday. We was like just passing by the club where uh, Keith Glockton was there, right? And when I pull up to the red light, it's three polices, literally. So Police. I'm like, you know, one thing about it, when you act scary, that's when they'll pull you over anything. So I'm normal. I'm cool. I'm like, man, call me in the car. We cool. I'm like, yeah. I'm I said, what you pull me over for? Oh, where you made an improper turn. You were supposed to turn in the first lane. When you turned, you went over to the third lane. I said, are you serious? He like, yeah. And then, and then Carmen, my wife, my beautiful wife, my lovely wife. What did she say? Has a blunt sitting right here in the f lane right there. Oh, right there. damn. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even see the blunt sitting there. The police come to the car and he talking to me. He like, step out the car. Put your hands behind your back. I'm like, the f did. And then he was like, you got a you got a blunt right there. You got right there. And I looked down. I'm like, damn, bruh. And then I had, and then listen, this is the crazy part. I left, I thought I left my home. Baby grab my cause they check her too. So we got a and a good car. Nigga. <laughs> That's what I was on probation for. Oh my God. Well, I had pills too, but damn, just all fucked up. I'm off a carry of my weapon, and I'm just like, this can't be. And it's an unlawful carry of a weapon because he got the, uh, he got the weed. Or are your guns registered? I hope so. Like, this nigga taking me to jail. Like, but it made me mad. Then that they know they, when they took my car, they had told my car, they just left Carmen on They the absolutely the should have stayed home. I ain't like that shit, bro. I really hurt behind it. Like, and you you got to discuss shit before you get in the car with, with who you riding with. Even your damn woman. All just aside, like, I was really... Like, was baby, really what do you have of mine? You feel me? So... Okay, what do you have of your oh, own? Man. <laughs> shit. She had got home, though. Right here. Now, in yesterday's video, some of the supporters were coming for me in the comments when it came to Iceland and royalty storyline. I guess Iceland took to IG after I post my video and said that she wasn't talking about royalty when she said when she was talking about Rico's B chick and girl. But later on in that same live, she said this about royalty. Hey, have her pull up. My baby daddy's on here, y'all. Oh talking about God. he gonna have royalty pull up on me. Have her pull up. Niggas be saying that with babies right in their arms. I, I just, I'll never understand it. You know where I live? Bro, you know where I live. Have her pull up. If you feel like that you want your bitch to come and fight your baby mama that take care of your kids, have her pull up. Y'all know where I live. Have her pull up. The fuck? Ain't no scary bitch over here. Have her pull up. Bozo, you and your bitch. You're a bozo. <sighs> Girl, over that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. I want to reiterate again. I did not say uh, that boy, Jay, was the one who started it, the whole thing. But bringing up Delane and Dylan, he started that. Simple. That's it. Bye.